Hello, welcome to my channel. Are you ready to test your vocabulary and listening? How important do you think friendship is? Friendship is really important to me. Having friends makes life more enjoyable and meaningful. It's nice to have people you can trust and share your thoughts and feelings with. Friends support each other through good times and bad, and they make you feel like you belong. What qualities do you look for in a friend? I look for qualities like kindness, loyalty, and honesty in a friend. It's important to have someone who cares about you and respects you for who you are. A good friend listens to you without judging and stands by you when you need support. It's also great to have friends who share similar interests. Have you ever had a disagreement with a friend? How did you resolve it? Yeah, I've had disagreements with friends before. It's natural for friends to have different opinions or misunderstandings sometimes. When that happens, it's important to communicate openly and honestly with each other. We talk about our feelings and try to understand each other's perspectives. Do you think it's possible to have too many friends? I don't think it's possible to have too many friends, but it's important to have quality friendships rather than quantity. It's better to have a few close friends who you can trust and rely on than to have many superficial friendships. How do you make new friends? I make new friends by being open and approachable. I try to be kind and respectful to everyone I meet and show genuine interest in getting to know them. I participate in activities and join clubs or groups where I can meet people with similar interests. What does friendship mean to you? Friendship means having someone who you can trust and rely on. Someone who accepts you for who you are and supports you through good times and bad. It's like having a special bond with someone who understands you and cares about your happiness. How do you know if someone is a true friend? You can tell if someone is a true friend by their actions. A true friend is there for you when you need them. They listen to you without judgment. And they make an effort to spend time with you and keep in touch. They're honest with you and they respect your feelings and boundaries. Have you ever had to end a friendship? What was that like? Yes, I've had to end a friendship before. It's never easy to do, but sometimes it's necessary for your own well-being. If a friendship becomes toxic or one-sided, it's important to recognize that and take steps to protect yourself. How do you maintain friendships? I maintain friendships by staying in touch regularly, whether it's through texts, calls, or hanging out in person. I make an effort to show my friends that I care about them by remembering important dates, checking in on how they're doing. What do you think is the most important aspect of a good friendship? I think trust is the most important aspect of a good friendship. You have to be able to trust your friend to be there for you and to have your best interests at heart. Without trust, it's hard to have a strong and meaningful friendship. How do you feel about learning English? Learning English is exciting for me. It opens up so many opportunities to communicate with people from different countries and cultures. It's like learning a whole new way to express myself and understand the world around me. What methods do you use to study English? I use a variety of methods to study English. I practice speaking and listening by watching movies and TV shows in English and I try to read books and articles to improve my vocabulary and comprehension. I also use language learning apps and websites to practice grammar and vocabulary exercises. Have you ever felt discouraged while learning English? How did you overcome it? Yes, there have been times when I felt discouraged while learning English especially when I struggle to understand or communicate effectively. But I try to remind myself that learning a new language takes time and practice, and it's okay to make mistakes along the way. 
Why do you think it's important to learn English? I think it's important to learn English because it's the most widely spoken language in the world. Knowing English can open up job opportunities, allow you to travel more easily, and help you connect with people from different backgrounds. What advice would you give to someone who is just starting to learn English? My advice would be to be patient and consistent in your studies. Learning a new language takes time and practice, so don't get discouraged if progress feels slow at first. Why do you want to learn English? I want to learn English because it's a global language spoken by millions of people around the world. Knowing English opens up opportunities for travel, work, and connecting with people from different cultures. It's also important for my personal and professional growth. How do you practice speaking English? I practice speaking English by having conversations with native speakers either in person or through language exchange programs online. I also participate in English speaking clubs or discussion groups where I can practice speaking in a supportive environment. Additionally, Have you found any challenges while learning English? How do you overcome them? Yes, I've encountered challenges while learning English especially with pronunciation and grammar. To overcome them, I use resources like language learning apps, online courses, and textbooks to reinforce my understanding of grammar rules and practice pronunciation. How do you stay motivated to continue learning English? I stay motivated by setting specific goals for myself such as passing language proficiency exams or being able to have fluent conversations in English. I break down these goals into smaller, manageable tasks and celebrate each milestone along the way, surrounding myself with supportive friends. What benefits do you expect from learning English? I expect many benefits from learning English, including improved job prospects, increased confidence in communicating with others, and the ability to access a wealth of information and resources available in English. Do you enjoy doing physical exercises? Yes, I enjoy doing physical exercises. They make me feel energized and help me stay healthy both physically and mentally. Plus, it's a great way to relieve stress and improve my mood. What kind of exercises do you like to do? I like to do a variety of exercises to keep things interesting. I enjoy going for runs or bike rides outdoors, as it allows me to enjoy nature while getting some exercise. How often do you exercise? I try to exercise at least three to four times a week but it can vary depending on my schedule and how I'm feeling. Some weeks I might exercise more frequently, while other weeks I might take it easy and only exercise a couple of times. Have you noticed any benefits from exercising regularly? Yes, definitely. Exercising regularly has helped me improve my overall fitness level and stamina. I feel stronger, more flexible, and more confident in my body. It's also improved my mood and mental well-being, as exercise releases endorphins that make me feel good. Do you have any tips for someone who wants to start exercising? My advice would be to start slowly and gradually increase the intensity and duration of your workouts as you build strength and endurance. Find activities that you enjoy and that fit into your lifestyle, whether it's going for a walk in the park, dancing to your favorite music at home. How do you feel about physical exercise? I think physical exercise is really important for staying healthy and feeling good. It's not just about looking a certain way, but it's about taking care of your body and mind. When I exercise, I feel more energized and less stressed. It's like giving myself a boost of positivity and strength. 
What are some simple exercises someone can do at home? There are plenty of simple exercises you can do at home without any equipment. One option is body weight exercises like push-ups, squats, and lunges, which help build strength and endurance. You can also try yoga or pilots routines that focus on flexibility and core strengths. How do you stay motivated to exercise regularly? I stay motivated by setting achievable goals for myself and celebrating my progress along the way. I also mix up my workouts to keep things interesting and prevent boredom. Sometimes I'll exercise with a friend or join a virtual workout class for extra motivation. Have you ever experienced any benefits from exercising regularly? Yes, definitely. Exercising regularly has helped me improve my overall fitness level and endurance. I feel stronger and more confident in my body. It's also improved my mood and mental well-being, helping me manage stress and anxiety better. What advice would you give to someone who wants to start exercising but doesn't know where to begin? My advice would be to start small and gradually increase the intensity and duration of your workouts as you build strength and confidence. Find activities that you enjoy and that fit into your lifestyle, whether it's going for a walk, riding a bike, or dancing around your living room. Do you enjoy reading? Yes. I enjoy reading a lot. It's one of my favorite hobbies because it allows me to escape into different worlds, learn new things, and broaden my perspective on life. Whether it's fiction, nonfiction, or poetry, reading always brings me joy and inspiration. What kinds of books do you like to read? I like to read a wide variety of books across different genres. I enjoy fiction books especially fantasy and science fiction, because they transport me to imaginative worlds filled with adventure and magic. How often do you read? I try to read every day, even if it's just for a few minutes before bed. Reading is a relaxing and enjoyable way for me to unwind and disconnect from the stresses of daily life. Sometimes I'll read for longer periods on weekends or days when I have more free time. Have you ever read a book that had a profound impact on you? Yes, there have been several books that have had a profound impact on me. One example is The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho, which taught me valuable lessons about following my dreams and listening to my heart. What advice would you give to someone who wants to start reading more? My advice would be to start by finding books that genuinely interest you and captivate your imagination. Whether it's fiction, nonfiction, or poetry, choose books that resonate with your personal interests and passions. How do you feel about reading? I think reading is amazing. It's like stepping into another world where you can imagine anything and everything. It's so much fun to explore different stories, learn new things, and see the world from someone else's perspective. What kinds of books do you enjoy reading? I enjoy reading all kinds of books. Fiction, like fantasy and mystery, are my favorites because they let me escape into exciting adventures. But I also like non-fiction books, especially ones about history and science, because they teach me interesting facts and help me understand the world better. How often do you read? I try to read every day, even if it's just for a little bit before bed. Reading helps me relax and unwind after a busy day. Sometimes I'll spend hours lost in a good book on weekends or during vacations. It's a great way to pass the time and expand my imagination. Have you ever read a book that changed your perspective on life? Yes, there have been a few books that have had a big impact on me. One book that comes to mind is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. It made me think about justice, equality, and empathy in a whole new way. Another book that changed my perspective is The Diary of Anne Frank. 
What advice would you give to someone who wants to read more? I would say to start by finding books that interest you, whether it's fiction or nonfiction. Choose books that you're excited to read. Set aside time each day to read, even if it's just a few pages.